Hello, hello again, Senator McCain. Hey, Tim William, Becky Lynn. And Andrea's here, too, today. I'm here, Andrea, finally. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're there. Thank God. We need some freshmen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> need some new material. Absolutely. By the way. Oh, we got it, too. Willie is struggling. This is this is one of the greatest things ever. Uh, his voice went out, so he's been off the program for two days. And, oh, um, no. Yes, yeah, so we've silenced Willie, finally. We found a way. Well, uh, I think uh, my prediction is the ratings will skyrocket. <laughs> oh, wow. I doubt it. <laughs> he lost his voice cheering for the Suns. Yeah. Oh, wow. I can see why. I yeah. can see why. Yeah. My God, with one eye. Isn't that amazing? Unbelievable. <laughs> I, I, listen, now all we got to do is beat the Lakers and... Uh, I, I may not go to heaven, but it'll be the closest thing to it. I love it. We can beat them. I mean, uh, it is uh, it, it, it's it's really remarkable, particularly where they came from. Look, I'm proud of the Coyotes. They yeah. they came on like gangbusters. I'm proud of the Cardinals. Now if the D-backs will get uh. their act together. We'll. Uh, Maybe have uh, have some uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, no doubt about it. I know we have you for just a few minutes because you have to go back in and vote on something. Yeah, on something. Yeah, <laughs> you know what it is yet. You're voting on. You know the uh, I think it was uh, Mark Twain that once said. No man's property is safe while the legislature is in session. <laughs> and, uh, I think he was right, particularly nowadays. <laughs> That's for sure. Senator McKeever, there's a lot of reaction to the new ad. Uh, you and the uh, sheriff from Pinal yep. County, uh, Paul. Babu. Babu. Yep. Um, uh, where you're walking along the boardy. By the way, looking awfully dapper in your Navy ball oh, cap. Love the Navy hat. <laughs> yep. Uh, but everybody loves the line where you're talking with him saying, you know, do we have a good plan? Is it going to work? And then you say to him and everybody. And complete the dang fence. Yeah. Complete the dang fence. You know, I got that from uh, uh, Sheriff Larry Deaver, uh, from the sheriff of Cochise County, which, as you know, is down on the border. And that's what he kept saying to me. And, the, and uh, we had him in an ad where he said, and complete the dang fence. Right, we we play that, that here on Camel, yeah. You know? And he's right. Look, uh, we, we have to. The way you can secure the border, and we can secure the border, and those that tell you that we can't uh, are not, uh, either don't have their facts or don't want to su- su- secure the border, is to have fences, to have surveillance, and have people. And right now we haven't got the fences completed, we haven't got sufficient surveillance, and we haven't got enough people. That's why... John Kyle and I a year ago called for sending 3,000 National Guard to the border, and which, by the way, was the same thing then Governor Napolitano asked for back in 2006. Yes. Interestingly enough. So we, we, we can secure the border. We have to secure the border. Uh, I don't have to tell you all, but I, when I hear these critics from around the country, they don't seem to understand that the drug traffickers and the human smugglers working together have broken our borders and are threatening the lives and well-being of our citizens and that's why we have to get the border secured then we address the other issues associated with immigration reform which i would be glad to do but if you don't secure the borders then you're like a hamster on a wheel you know what i mean the more people come in more legalization more people come in and this whole situation, I'll, be, I'll really be brief, but the whole situation over the last three years is, has escalated dramatically because the drug cartel violence. The violence is unbelievable. 22,000 people on the Mexican side of the border have been killed in the last couple of years by these drug cartels and the battles that they're having with each other and with the Mexican government. The Mexican government is under an existential threat, my dear friends. Mm. That's scary. So we got to get the border secured, and uh, and in all due respect to my liberal uh, limousine liberal people, that they live very well. They have security. They have uh, building security. They have security in their streets, and uh, unfortunately, in the southern part of our state, the, our citizens don't have that, mm. and so. Uh, we've got to get the border secured. That's all there is to it. Senator McCain, were you surprised at the uh, level of reaction there was to the uh, immigration bill? And, and where do you see that headed, by the way? I'm very disappointed because uh, the, the law clearly states reasonable cause. Uh, there has to be uh, reasonable s- uh, suspicion, okay? In other words, they, you can't just stop somebody or detain them uh, because of their appearance. There has to be some 
apparent violation of the law and then even then after you stop a person there has to be a reason to question their immigration status like you stop somebody for speeding if there's nine people crammed into the back of the car then you have reasonable suspicion mm -hmm. you see what i mean mm -hmm. yeah totally yeah. So it's being portrayed inaccurately in fact it totally falsely by saying that they would just stop anybody for any reason that's not what the law says mm. and so it's unfortunate uh, I wish that the legislature didn't have to act. The fact is the legislature acted and the governor signed it because the federal government has not fulfilled its responsibilities. You see what I mean? Yes. Gotcha. If we had, if we had gone, if the federal government had secured the borders, then the, the legislature would not have felt the need to act. Uh, Senator McCain, back to the commercial where you're on the yeah. border with uh, yeah. Sheriff uh, yeah. Abu. Uh, <laughs> is is he not also the guy who led the, uh, the the charge against the traffic cameras on the freeway? No, I don't. Th no, oh. no. Oh, uh, I thought he. I thought maybe he was. Well, I, I, I don't. I don't think so. I don't. That? I don't think he he was. Um, he's a Pinal County sheriff. Is is. As you know, and oh, I'm, you know County, what? I'm thinking Pima. I got my yeah. Pima and my Pinal oh. mixed up. There you go. I want to do that. It's dangerous. Pinal County, Casa Grande, that area has become the funnel for all of these illegal drugs and yeah. illegal immigration um, because as it as it comes up from Nogales to Tucson, up through Casa Grande and Pinal County, that's the county where the um, deputy sheriff was shot in the stomach yes. by a guy with an AK-47. Yes. Well, it's uh, it's serious work. We're glad you're uh, back in Washington for uh, working for us. And uh, uh, one more quick question. This one uh, sure. off the beaten path. Who in your in your world are the jerks and brats? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, jerks and brats. Uh, Lin <laughs> Lindsey Graham, my best friend in the Senate, uh, and is like a son to me. He's a little jerk and a little brat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. But I'm bringing him up. I'm okay. bringing him up. Well, and, uh, but, you know, you, you, there's, there's, there's very few, to be honest with you, there's very few people that you become close friends with. Those that I'm closest to, that I love most, and and no best are those that I was in prison with in Hanoi many years ago. Mm, absolutely. absolutely. All right, my dear friends, great to talk to you. Congratulations on the rating, and when Willie comes back, give him my best. We will <laughs> we'll do it. Go <laughs> Suns! It's a worthy cause that he lost his voice. Yes, amen, amen. All right, thanks, Senator McCain. Happy Bye. voting. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.